Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very unusual condition which can sometimes comes to ophthalmology, Langerhans cell histiocytosis. So the Langerhans cell is a form of dendritic cell in the immune system. Its job is to go around and find antigens and become an antigen presenting cell. But sometimes the Langerhans cell becomes a monoclonal process, so it's a form of histiocytic neoplasm. Because his job is to go around and find antigens, he can go anywhere. He literally has an all-access backstage pass. And that means he can be in your skin, he can be in your brain, he can be in your bones, he can be in your organs, he can be in your lymph node because he has an all access pass to go wherever he wants. And so what it results in is infiltration. That infiltration is the thing we're looking for on biopsy, but also on imaging studies. In a kid, Langerhans cell histiocytosis is usually the multi-system form, and that means they have fever, other constitutional symptoms, fatigue, they have skin involvement, it can look like eczema or other infl inflammatory dermatologic conditions. It can go in your bone and make like, lytic lesions, and it can go in your organs causing splenomegaly and other uh, infiltrative type mass lesions. And in the brain, one of the interesting things that comes to Neurop is it can go into the stalk the pituitary stalk, and that is sometimes called the infundibulum. And when that happens, you might get a core symptom called diabetes insipidus, which is from inadequate uh, production by the pituitary gland of ADH. So they get polyuria, polydipsia, but not from diabetes mellitus, the sugar version, mm -hmm. diabetes insipidus. And so what that means for us is Langerhans cell histiocytosis can present as an infiltrative process in any organ system. And for neurop, it likes to go into the stalk and therefore it can cause bitemporal hemianopsia or optic neuropathy, which is retrobulbar. It is an infiltrative process. You have to do a biopsy. What are we looking for? Immunohistochemical evidence that it's a histiocyte, which is the target cell, the effector cell. And on electron microscopy, you might see this Burbeck granule, which is a very specific and probably almost pathognomonic finding of LCH, Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Like other lymphoproliferative and myeloproliferative disorders, the treatments are directed against suppressing the cell. That's the problem, chemotherapy, the usual treatments that they give. You need to know a little bit about Langerhans cell histiocytosis.